Hello, welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio here in Nottingham. First of all, apologies for not doing as many videos over the last few weeks. It's uh, August here and we're very busy at the moment. Uh, we've had a couple of really hot spells of weather here in the UK. A couple of weeks ago, we had like 41 degree Celsius. It's just unheard of over here. And um, at the moment, we're just going into a few days of like 31 32 degrees Celsius so we spend an awful lot of time watering the trees uh, so they don't get too dry we're watering two or three times a day and it is taking up a lot of our a lot of our hours a lot of our manpower a lot of our staff so apologies for not doing quite so many videos in the last few weeks and uh, we've even had messages from uh, quite a few of you just saying oh I hope Colin's okay because we've not seen him do a video for a while so I'm fine, I've just, been, I've just been busy doing stuff and teaching and that sort of thing. So got quite a heavy teaching schedule at the moment, these few days, this next week or so. But we've got a brief uh, little bit of time this afternoon. So we thought we'd, uh, we'd, do, a couple, we'd do a little video for you uh, on silver birch. Uh, one of these trees is a new one that you might not have seen before. And another one is a birch that we've worked on previously and we're revisiting it. We'd originally we cut this birch back did quite a drastic pruning on it February this year and if you have a look back you'll see a video of birch Yamadori the first styling uh, in Feb. We revisited this tree in about May time uh, it hadn't grown quite this much we gave it a bit of a prune back in May and like I say now it's August and it's ready for another prune and a tidy up. So a lot of you have said to me, when can we, can we do updates? You don't see updates on the trees. And we've now got a, a designated area and a bench here at Greenwood Bonsai Studio that has a lot of our YouTube trees on. So any visitors to the nursery can come and see the trees that they've seen on the videos in real life and see how they're going on. While I'm mentioning visiting, here, uh, visiting us here at Greenwood Bonsai Studio, some exciting news coming up in a few weeks time. We're going to be doing our annual bonsai bash here at Greenwood. It's an event we've done for, just for over 15 years or so. And the primary focus of it is for it to be an open weekend for beginners to enthusiasts alike. And it's a completely free event. And this year it's going to be held on Saturday and Sunday, 17th and 18th of September. So I know some of you live quite far afield, but those of you that are a bit more local, you're just looking for an excuse to uh, ask permission to come up and have a look at the trees, that weekend will be ideal. And what we do, you don't have to book or get a ticket or anything, completely free, you just turn up. We'll have an exhibition in the studio here of some of my own specimen bonsai trees from my own private collection so that's the only time of the year you can get to see some of my trees uh, up close also I'll be doing demonstrations throughout both days Saturday and Sunday working on a variety of trees perhaps do one or two trees a day specimen trees and working on them you can come up and ask questions it's always quite a uh, informal thing and uh, uh, you can sit for a few hours watch a demonstration have a wander around the nursery there's refreshments and cakes and all that sort of thing going off here as well. So if you've not yet been to the nursery or you've been before, we'd like to welcome you back for our bonsai bash. Some photographs here of some previous years to give you an idea of the event. It's growing every year, it's really quite popular. And at the end of this video, there's gonna be the poster with all the details on. So if you hang about to the end, you'll see, you, know, you can have a look at the details. So, back to these birch trees silver birch quite a common tree for bonsai in the uk um, the trouble with silver birch growing in the uk is they grow very fast and very straight so the majority of them are quite straight and boring and i think if you watch back the video of this one we've said that what appealed to me about this particular silver birch was the beautiful movement and it's being a bit hidden by some of the foliage but if you look here the base very strong roots lovely bark and sinuous movement up here and we're trying to create uh, a bonsai out of this, this this birch and we're working on on the branches and the twigs it's always been a little bit light density wise on the apex and the top of the tree so what we're doing with this we're always trimming the top the bottom of the tree side trimming the bottom of the tree here back to force growth 
into that apex just to try and balance the vigor so that's something we're going to we're going to uh, going to do now um, if you look back at the previous videos of it you'll see how it's progressed in a very short space of time back to the first video this is less than six months ago so you can see how it's progressed in a very short space of time over here on this side we've got another silver birch and I've known this tree for about 10 years or so it belonged to a bonsai collector down in Birmingham and we bought a collection of trees off him and a similar thing with this tree here the idea of this the best feature of this tree is the movement within the trunk it really does set it apart from sort of 90% of silver birches that we see around the UK uh, I saw this I think I've sold this twice I sold it once and it was in a collection for a few years it came back in as a part exchange it was sold again uh, and the same thing happened it was in a collection for a few years and it's come back in as a part exchange at the beginning of this year we just left it, left it out on the bench we fed it and just let it grow we're using a Ruco fertilizer on it and this hasn't been trimmed this year so we'll just let it have a bit of a run and put some growth out um, you can see it's quite excessive the growth it's put on so that needs a good prune back now uh, we've deliberately left it to just have a bit of a run and, ha and put on uh, put on a good amount of growth so we'll get to that one in a little while let's step back to this first a silver birch and let's have a have a look at this tree now this time of year we're over halfway through the growing season and if you look in here we have got a few of the older leaves starting to go yellow and fall you know this is probably somewhat a sign of the heat that the tree has endured which here in the UK it won't really be used to that so a little bit of yellowing on the leaves at this time of year not really anything to worry about so I'm just going to work my way around this tree like I did before trimming back to a pair of leaves shortening back this growth and because these are so vigorous and it's very good that they're vigorous but if anything it is also their downfall because you have to be really on top of trimming them keeping them tidy you know if you do wire them the wire can cut in quite quickly you know they like a lot of moisture so we always tend to put them into quite large bonsai pots so that they've got a good reservoir of moisture available to them of course this tree is in training so it's just in a plastic bonsai training pot for now but depending on what it's uh, its condition and how it's gone on by the end of the year we might try for next year to get it into a into a ceramic pot you know this is most likely a tree that will eventually go out on our benches for sale so it might go into a ceramic pot before we before we offer it for sale and I did do a little bit of wiring on this at the beginning of the year and we took the wires off in good time so we didn't get much wire scarring so it was minimal and it's been doing really well since then I think most enthusiasts in the UK at some point of the bonsai career they've at least had a silver birch in their collection some people have stuck with them some people move on to other trees that are possibly a little bit more controllable they do suffer a little bit with uh, damage to leaves just things sort of eating and nibbling the leaves and that sort of thing and at this time of year it's only to be to be expected but having said that this is really in quite good leaf you know it's not really too tatty or anything yet it's in pretty good condition I'm trying to take it back to one or two leaves in this top section let's shorten it back just trying to get a bit more density in this apex that's what we struggled with last time it's a bit better this time it's a bit more organized last time it really was just growing in certain areas and not really in others uh, and because we trimmed a strong growth back this time it has been a little bit more a little bit better behaved of course uh, that's a shame to say we're 
you know getting towards the end of summer it's like it's only just started but at least we have had a we have had a decent summer here in the UK not like in recent years so it's only been another few weeks and these leaves will be going yellow and falling so the odd yellow leaf that's on it now we can remove but it's not a not a major issue little bit of pruning like that a couple of yellow leaves this shoot here is a bit long let's just have a quick tidy up I think a couple of years of working on this tree and working on the branches and we should have something a little bit more special if I turn it around to the front in there there's still a little bit here to come off this has grown up a little bit too much there's a couple of suckers in here we don't need a little bit here these are hanging down a little bit too much just a little bit of a, of a tidy up on this birch but you can see it's starting to come on really quite well and now it's been trimmed you can see the character and the beauty of this trunk in early spring we've got a big section off the top of it here that's started to heal really quite well we've got another cut section here we'll need to carve and do something with this but that's for a later date for now we we'll come back round towards the front you can see the beautiful white bark with the just all cracking up quite gnarly and craggy it's really the best feature of this tree so back round to the front there you know it's uh, if you haven't done so already check back and have a look at these videos of this silver birch from start to finish it's now really starting to uh, to get up some steam and looking uh, better we'll most probably do a little bit of tweaking of the branches in winter we'll just keep it trimmed like this and then in winter this wants to come down a little bit this side shoot we can wire this down to make a side branch but if we do this sort of work now we're just asking for these uh, for the wire to bite into these branches and it's a lot easier to do it once it's dropped its leaves so no doubt this won't be the last video of this tree and we can come back and visit it in future and you can follow its progress on our channel okay hello welcome back to the studio to the silver birch studio here today at greenwood and we've just worked on the little silver birch on the right hand side and as i said earlier the next one for the trimming table it's this large silver birch that we've got out on the bench for sale so it's the same sort of process process as with that uh, first one so it's just a prune back a midsummer prune back to get rid of the long growth uh, to maintain the density and get shape into the foliage pads and to the tree so i will start off giving this a trim we'll switch to a time lapse so you can uh, sit and enjoy it with your cup of coffee and we'll see you at the end
that's this silver birch finished just a quick 10 minute mid summer prune from start to finish you can see by the the floor the amount of growth that's that's come off this tree it will probably put on about almost that amount of growth again uh, just in the next couple of months and then we'll probably trim it in winter once it's dropped its leaves it's easier then to trim it for structure so we can see uh, the structure of the tree and the branch formation a bit easier so thank you very much for watching please subscribe so you don't miss out any future videos on this tree and there's some information just coming up now about our bonsai bash in a few weeks time so if you think you can make it if you fancy coming over to the nursery and please put that in your diary and hope to see some of you then take care